Hello Scorpio, how you doing? Welcome to your weekly reading here on the Astro Flower, going from the uh, 26th through to the 1st of uh, September, edging ever closer to your birthday season. Let's just see what's going on for you this week. Overall energies here, karmic message on your relationship side, karmic message on your financial side, uh, business, job and projects, influence from the universe, synchronicities, uh, coincidences, that sort of thing, uh, influence from the past self, what we can glean in retrospection from the past to help us uh, sort of see clearer the future. Uh, and then our future self, what is sort of like a willing us on in a way, how our guides are willing us on. And uh, then we have the lessons for the week or the understanding that we come bring out this week. Uh, and I put out a video on uh, the blue moon, a bit late, but I put it out all the same. And um, I think we're going, this is the real moment of going into the age of Aquarius uh, this year. And uh, it plays out amazingly in the reading. There is no doubt about it. And it, I did a sort of an all signs thing of how each sign can um, uh, approach this change and what each sign has to contribute to uh, this change. Because it's going to be with us for the, you know, it's going to be with us for the next 2000 years, uh, the age of Aquarius, but also Pluto in Aquarius. That's really important. That's going to be with us for the next 16 years, 17 or 18 years or whatever it is. And uh, yeah, I think it's a really good heads up. Go and have a look at it if you haven't seen it. Great video. Uh, yes, let's um, let's get on with your reading, shall we? This week here, overall energies. Let's just see what's going on there. Overall energies. It seems to be playing. This is. There seems to be. The, Either you're looking for answers from a past relationship or something, uh, or if you're looking for answers from who you are, what, you know, why did it go wrong? Why is it, you know, and all of that sort of thing. Or what am I looking for in regards to what I've already lived? Uh, so you know what you don't want, so you know what you do want. That's what it seems to be on the relationship side here. A real sort of eye opener uh, for you. And it could, it you know, it could open the doors to connecting with new people. And it could be in a romantic way, but it could also be in a, you know, with friends, family or whatever. But it's definitely opening doors for you. It's it's releasing a lot of the pressure that you seem to be having upon yourself or that you can heap upon yourself. Um, in your, uh, on your financial sort of side here, it's definitely moving forward. Um, it's building into a, um, you're building on a plan that you've started already, but there seems to be a moment, like anything, when you start a business or whatever, uh, there is a moment when um, you can, uh, you need to, you know, you need to assess what's been going on, how it's been going on and stuff like that. And also you confront new things. That's what it is mainly, to be honest. Uh, you confront new things and therefore you've got to find the solutions for that new things for that new situation that's happening so you started a business it's going all very well and then you uh because it's starting to grow you start meeting other problems that you just didn't have before simply because of the size of the business or the or how the business was going and now you're confronted with new things and it's looking for those answers in that project basically um the star card yeah i think you are reaching for the stars i think you're reaching for the best example of yourself in in regards to um your relationship side and on your financial side you seem to have got like you seem to have got the message and that's it. You're now kind of going, right, I'm now going after it. And your overall energy is pushing you to, you know, to reach for the stars here, Scorpio. Really reach for the stars. Reach for the best example of yourself. On your relationship side, universal energy, it's very tall. It bringing in, is it bringing in or pushing out? No, it's asking you to be very selective away. And, you know, if you, let's say you go to the party, you could meet everybody. And uh, there's like loads of people at the party. You can meet them, every single one. And it's you're only going to meet them for two minutes. But what you could do is you could actually, you know, meet people and, and find that connection and actually spend some time with that person. So there's a definite thing over quality rather than quantity here that the um, the universal energy is trying to encourage into your life. And I think it brings a lot of energy into your life because of that, because you're being very much more selective. On your karmic path, your karmic path is paced, uh, is facing the past. Um, so basically, as I said, there's something that's, you know, that's coming to light uh, from the past that's really helping you on. And that's really, you know, the past, the, your past self is pointing into the overall energies here. And I think this is helping you to really release a lot of stuff, let go of a lot of stuff, but without even realising it. And it's just the energy. You just feel the energy is changing for you. Your future self is also tying into that, the star card here. 
Um, and also the, the answers from this week here is, can be found within your connections with other people in that quality rather than quantity. That's where you're going to understand a lot of things about life. Yes, you're manifesting a new future and we can only manifest a new future. When you want to manifest something, you've got to know what you've done already in the past. Otherwise, you won't be, it won't be totally clear about where you're going and you're not going to be playing to your strengths here. So I think this is this clarification or this, this insight that's coming into your life from your past is helping you to manifest that star card there. It's really, it's very vibrant and very beautiful and very enjoyous energy, uh, and joyful energy. From the universe, you get the uh, strength card. Yeah, I think this is where, you know, sometimes uh, Scorpio, um, you want to please everyone and everything like that. You want to be perfect and everything like that because you are. Um, but at the same time, I think here is, I think you've just got to, you know, just pull that in a little bit, you know, don't, don't doubt yourself, carry your, carry your stature with you into, into the world around you. And when you carry that, that sort of like regal sort of stature around with you, you're going to meet really good quality people. And I think this is what it's going to bring you strength and it's going to get rid of a lot of doubts. Look at that as the past, as I said, it's been tied into the past victory it's knowing what makes you feel good i think this is realizing i think you're realizing it's almost it's um, a moment of just sort of saying oh my word why was i ever doing that if we look back over the past 30 years and look at the things we were doing 30 years ago you kind of some of the things you're going to kind of go my word i can't believe i did that i can't believe i had that haircut <laughs> that sort of thing you know um it's 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 a realistic sort of kind of looking at ourselves just kind of going oh man i hope that that photo never gets on facebook you know that sort of thing um and out of that comes huge amounts of victory out of that comes a lot of sort of self you're winning your your race as it were according to your according to your emotions and the relationships that you wish to be involved in your future self you got the eight of um eight of pentacles I think this is all to do with the work that you're doing, the manifestation that you're doing into the future. And you've got all the ingredients, the strength, the strength and victory to carry this off, Scorpio. You know, you've got everything that you possibly need to take yourself into a whole new higher plane. And this could be on the spiritual path as much as it could be on relationships. Whatever it is, it seems to be very a contentment, a huge contentment seeing things differently as i said it's from it plays into sort of like your past and your future and how your past make the decisions of this and seeing the things your victories in the past and i think you'll see it differently i think you'll see how the strengths you have within you that what you did in order to create that victory within your life and seeing things are a little bit differently you will be able to see that star that's shining bright in front of you that you only have to follow like the hermit card you only have to follow it. And it's a liberating moment for you um, in your relationship side, in your emotional side of life. Beautiful it is. Okay, let's just have a... Um, and when you do have this liberation, this will allow you to have that. You will make quality contacts or quality uh, relationships rather than quantity relationships. And I think that is really important for you. It's, the, it's, a, it's taking a step up. Uh, really taking a step up. Let's just see what's going on in your business, your projects and your uh, financial sort of side. You've got the karmic path here. It's set. It's it's playing slightly in the past. That's, there's no doubt about it. But it's also, uh, it's mainly set within itself. So that means that you know your path. You know where you're going. That's what it seems to be coming across as. Um, from the universal energies, how's that influencing it? There's a There's a... It's very much like this side as well. It goes from both, it goes from, it wavers from uh, the universal energy bringing energy into you, but also it wavers into, you know, asking you to go out and networking and stuff like that. I don't think it's networking. I think it's more of a case of um, looking at what you're doing in the way of a career, business and projects and realising, you know, what solutions you need for the situation that you're confronted at the moment. And that's where the coincidences, I think, will really help you out enormously your past is playing into that star it's almost as if it's like a lifestyle change that you're making here and you're sort of saying i want to live this lifestyle 
which is brilliant. That's the best way to do it, because then you can combine your work and your relationship and your spiritual side of life into one. And once you start doing that, then no matter what you're doing, you're living the lifestyle that corresponds to you. And your future self here, your future self is playing into the future. It's definitely looking forward. And there's something that obviously for the karmic path that you've started already, that you need to keep pushing on. Don't give up. If it's difficult, I can understand it. You will find the solutions if you just take the time out, sit down and see things clearly for what they are. Um, but also at the same time, seeing them clearly uh, in accordance to what you want to be living in the future. And I think this is where you can really start homing in on some very good quality energies for you. What's the lessons to be learned out of this week here? Okay, this is, uh, it seems like there's a lesson of, of being dynamic in your approach. Uh, this could well be making decisions quickly. Um, you know, playing off the flow of energy, playing off the zeitgeist that is going on, the energy that is around you, the air of the time, as it were. And once you do start doing that, that's where I think you're going to find the solutions very, very quickly to any sort of situations that you're confronted with. Yeah, it's almost as if like you've got the eight of cups here on your karmic path. It's almost as if like your karmic path has sort of stopped and being curious about what is going on. That's what it seems to be like. I think you know where you're going because the moon is covering the sun. You are covering the sun. Um, this is an eclipse on this card here. So um, what you're doing is, is you're moving. You're going to look. You're looking for the happiness, the joy. And this is that lifestyle thing of putting yourself forward or putting yourself front and center so you can actually get what you want out of life and it's on both sides it's as if both sides has to play in harmony with one another in order for you to get the good results with the um universal energy you get the nine of uh wands he is got that staff in front of him. Yes, he's going off on a journey. This person here is going off on a curious journey as well. And the universe here is helping you out by sort of saying, eh, that sort of, you got need to change that within you. And then also you need to change that outside of you, or you need to deal with this situation outside of you, or you need to deal with that situation inside you. It's helping you to have put in place very simple, non-invasive, healthy boundaries, which are going to help you project along your pathway, your pathway to your future. As I said, in your past, you've got the moon covering the sun on your karmic path there on that eclipse, and you get the moon on your past, you. And I think you've got to realise that what you've put into it to get out the, you know, get the results out of the life. And yes, you're moving on to a whole new plane. This is where you should keep in mind the lifestyle that you wish to lead. You know, if you say I need X amount of money in order to leave, live this lifestyle, therefore I've got to work 60, 70, 80 hours a week. You're not going to live that lifestyle because you're only going to be working. And this is where I think putting you in front center of everything, knowing how good you are when you apply yourself. Once you realize that, that's when you can step into a whole new world of which is incredibly balanced. It's a Capricorn card the world card, it brings in all the elements in equal quantities. And this is going to make you feel that it's actually a lifestyle that you are creating more than anything else. The que uh, the Empress card, which comes out in the solutions for this week, as I said, you need to be a little bit more sort of dynamic. You know, she's sitting on the log. She's not really doing anything. But what she is actually doing is combining a lot of the energies that is around her. You know, in the background, you've got a river, you've got a waterfall, you've got a forest, you've got the golden sun. Uh, and in uh, at her feet, you've got the um, the wheat, the harvest, as it were, the rewards out of combining that sort of air, fire, water, combining that new well card. That's what you're bringing into your life. And in order to do that, you have to have a certain control over your emotions. Your emotions are protected in this sort of situation. So this is why you can be dynamic without any um, fear of, of comeback on those on that being those decisions. So you're not emotionally getting affected by the, the being being really zippy and being making decisions very quickly. So you take away that worry and that and that doubt that you might have within you. I don't know why I need to look at that card, but apparently you need to go off on a mission eventually. That's what's really coming through. But in order to go off on that mission, it is a case of, um, you know, uh, you've got to um, you've got to have an ideal lifestyle. And that ideal lifestyle is what you're doing. You're you're creating something. Um, uh, you're creating something that's not just out of 
the spiritual path, the relationship emotions, but it's also out of your money, where you live, the activities you do, um, the, how you survive, you know, you surround yourself physically. And it doesn't matter where you're starting from. If you start with that attitude as you build, that will then just remain as one of those healthy boundaries within your life. OK, so let's just do a bit of clarification with the Lightseers card. Thanking you very much for being here, by the way. It's absolutely lovely to see all you Scorpios, all the comments and everything like that. Really do thank you very much. You know, um, so many people to thank. I'm not going to waste the time doing it now. I'll do it on a live one day. But thanking you very much for everything that you sort of support this channel. There is one way in which you can support this channel in a really beautiful way. It's just by going and looking, uh, you know, playing another signs reading. Because we've got to encourage the other signs to get on board as well. It helped with the uh, algorithm enormously. So at some point over the weekend, just play another another reading off this channel, uh, just to help out the algorithm on uh, for for to get the other rhythms going. Uh, okay, so it'd be absolutely beautiful for to see that sort of help. In the meantime, let's get on with the clarifications for you. Star card with the King of Wands. That's what that that's what that's all about. That's what that's all about. You know. Uh, this is what you're gradually building. And as I said, holding yourself regally, you know, having that regal um, sort of persona with you, it's so powerful, knowing how good you are. Uh, once you do that, you're going to get rid of all those doubts. And look, you've got the strength card in the background that's coming in here. And you, I think it's in your, it's on your karmic path here, on your relationship side to hold your space and to manifest what you want. This is where you've really got to go for quality rather than quantity. Nah. Manifesting love. Love is in the air. Certainly is. As I said, I think you're opening up something this week here. It's almost as if like you're sort of making yourself available for love, if you know what I mean. It's finally getting on and sort of saying, yeah, I want to live love. You can manifest it. And it's the way, the way you can manifest it is just being really, really powerful in the way in which you do it. It's absolutely brilliant. It's, it's, it's a really good thing blowing for you in the way of uh, emotions. I see a lot of celebration in the future, you know, sort of like, yes, life is great sort of scenario. Uh, and it's but it's it's this liberation to do it, you know, to live it. Look at that. It's just getting better all the time. I haven't got enough fingers to hold up all the cards. Um, you know, with the um, strength card here, and this is what I'm saying about quality rather than quantity, you're going to create that passionate scenario, that new beginning with someone. Uh, that's the influence that's coming into your life. Look at the influence uh, from just from those three cards here on your relationship side. That's what's influencing to you. So it's sort of like that's the sort of persona that is bringing into your life a really powerful scenario uh, for you, uh, Scorpio. Absolutely lovely. Absolutely lovely. And you can manifest it all. That's the beautiful thing about it. You can really manifest it all. And just realising the victory is, yeah, exactly. You've got the moon. You had the moon on this side. You know, the victory is within you. There is no doubt about it. That moon is you. It's bringing things to the surface that you may not have looked at before. That's why you've got the solution is by looking at things in a different way. Um, and with this victory, I think you're realising now your part or the role that you play in making that victory. And that's what's going to help you to manifest the beautiful relationship that you can have going forward. If you just allow yourself to have it, you know, have that relationship, open up to it. And it's OK. You're going to be OK. You're not going to get injured. Don't worry about it. You're going to be OK. Eight of pentacles with the three of swords on this side here. As I said, I think you're going to be OK. If you apply yourself of quality rather than quantity, because this person here is not, is you know, it's the way in which they're creating their pentacles is in a very quality way. It's not, they're not going for mass. They're going for good quality work on various different angles and, and concentrating on the finer details. The moment you do that, you will protect yourself, I think, from pain and difficulty. And also, when you're working on manifesting this love that's coming into your life, because you put in the work, you'll know the pitfalls. And I think you're getting rid of all the in the future, 
healing all the painful things that you could have ever had uh, in the past. Seeing things differently. I, yeah, I, you know, don't get stuck in a way of, of meeting people and uh, engaging in the same old way, basically. I think that's what the solution is here. If you work on that, that is you're going to avoid pain and, uh, you know, complicated relationships. If the moment you start seeing things in a different way, you're going to free yourself up enormously. And I do see you have this liberation moment within your life in the coming future. But there is work to be done this week. And this work to be done is looking at qualities rather than quantities and practicing your regal stance. You know what I mean? Did the Queen, you know what I mean? When everybody, I'm, I'm English, right? And the Queen is, uh, the Queen was, um, you know, the way, the way she used to go along in a carriage and she used to go like that as to wave. Who waves like that? She must have practiced that at some point. Do you think she was sitting and standing in front of the mirror kind of going, hey, hey, I think I've got it. I think I've got it. This is the wave. You know what I mean? Well, was she actually thinking that? She must have practiced it. And it's, 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 regalness comes from within. You know, it's carrying that assurance within you. And I think this is what you've got to culture, you, you've got to cultivate within your life. What did I say about here? You know, this mission that's coming through and this curious, once you start getting curious about it, I think this is where the mission, we're onto the financial side, by the way. Actually, I take that back because it's going here with the overall energies. Exactly. Sorry, I didn't pull it out. The, the overall energies. You've got the king of wands on one side. In order to feel that confidence within your life, it does have to work on your financial side. This is why I think it's a lifestyle change that's happening that you're putting into action in your life. You're you're having this lifestyle change in, in, a, in a way that you want to be living the good stuff permanently. And to be living the good stuff permanently... That means it has to happen in your workspace as much within your relationship side of life. And once you do, and it's once you do, I think you're also going to be helping that sort of like three of swords, eight of uh, pentacles sort of scenario. It, you know, there's work to be done at it. There is no doubt about it. And this liberating thing that's coming out of your life is coming out on all angles. Yeah, you're going off on a mission. They wanted a knight, obviously, on the karmic path uh, anyway. So we get the knight of swords, which is really good for you because you do have a lot of air at your base, um, Scorpio. Um, and this will stimulate you enormously mentally going forward. So as you're creating this project, although the project may not be giving you the success as yet, you're enjoying the journey. And it's allowing your curious side to be opening up to see how this business project or job can actually bring you the good stuff. And going off on that mission and being curious about it, I think, is really important. With the nine of ones, you get the eight of ones. Yeah, there's a lot of communication coming in from the universal energies here to help you put into place. And I, as I said, I think the um, the healthy boundaries is that lifestyle change you're making. And this is helping you as well, give you a focal point of where you're going onto the future. And that should be your focal point, really. The, the ultimate goals of what you want out of life. Uh, and there's a lot of communication that's coming through the synchronicity of things and the coincidences. So I would be observing it, but like the Empress, I wouldn't get carried away with it, as it were. Um, the moon card, what's going on on the moon card? Yeah, being the best example of yourself, basically. Put yourself forward, put yourself centre stage. Don't worry about it. Be dynamic. Go from an old dimension to a new dimension where you're really living it pure and pure, you know, pure, uh, you know, with your life that's in tune with this new lifestyle that you're going into. Yeah, Four of Wands, as I said, you're going into a whole new paradigm. And this is the Four of Wands is all about that celebration, going into the paradigm, into the future. This is going to sort of, it's difficult because obviously we know people for a very long time. And this side of things here on your relationship side, as you can well see up here, the relationship side here, yeah, I'm a little bit worried about it. I'm, I, I, won't, I won't lie to you. Um, but I think it's because here is going into the success on your on your financial side will allow you to uh, change what's happening on your relationship side. And not everybody evolves at the same speed. And within your relationship side, it might be a case of kind of, going, oh, you know, it's not evolving as a, you know, I'm evolving quicker than some of my friends. And, you know, every every epoch has its own results. Playing smart 
This is why being dynamic, playing smart, making decisions, heading off on that mission as well, gradually cultivating that mission on your financial side. This is where you're going to be able to combine a lot of things uh, into your future. And this, whatever it is, is once you start being dynamic about it, this is what's going to bring in that sort of star card evolutionary sort of energy. <laughs> Look at the bottom of that back, the star card. It is, this is going to really influence on your, on your relationship side. It's going to make you, going to liberate you enormously. All right, there you go, um, Scorpio. Thanking you very much for being here with us. Don't forget, if you want to um, watch another sign over the weekend, that would really help the algorithm for this uh, channel. That'd be very much appreciated. Um, yes, I will see you soon, either on one of the energy videos or on one of the readings. In the meantime, don't forget, life should be fun, so please do enjoy.